Cornerbacks fans, welcome back to College with Corner 2.0. And guys, you're with me, Mike Spiderslay, are bringing you, that's right, another comic book review. Again, what else would you expect here at Comic Book Corner 2.0? Today, we're going to be talking about Justice League issue number 23, part 6 of 6 of the Trinity War. That's right, guys. We're finally at the conclusion of the Trinity War, and let's just say it's making its way towards Forever Evil. Now, we all know kind of what happens at the end of this issue, but it's the journey to get to the end is what made this issue so special to me. Um, this book is written by Jeff Johns, who obviously is, I can say, maybe a candidate for Writer of the Year. When anything that this guy is writing lately has just been hitting it out of the park for me. Um, and the art, let me just tell you, it's spectacular. Um, Ivan Reese, best artist for this series, I think, by far. You get to see the details that I've been talking about that have been missing in past issues. You get to see these great pages, these great layouts that make you turn the book um, upside down to make you visually see everything that's going on. Uh, you get pages like this. You get to see how sick Superman actually is in the issue, which was nice to see. And you get to see pages just like this where uh, Wonder Woman and Superman are battling each other. And it, it's just awesome. Again, the writing is, is something to be had here because it's like you get to see our heroes uh, say things to each other that they would normally not say because of what happens when they have possession of Pandora's box, which is excellent to see. Um, in this issue, you also get to see, you know, who the man in the top hat is. Now, there is going to be spoilers, so I'm just letting you know. If you guys want to, you know, stop the video, read the issue for yourself, um, and then come back, then you're more than happy to do that. But there is spoilers, so I'm letting you know. At the beginning of the issue, you get to see... Uh, a great narration between, I guess, the traitor of the group or whatnot and our person in the top hat. And all of a sudden, you get to see all our JLA members, JLA Dark members, all our JL, J, J, Justice League members uh, doing this massive battle against each other. And as this whole battle is erupting, we get to see a man in the top hat watching behind the scenes. And he's like, it's time. And uh, again, you see all this dialogue between each other. I don't want to go too much into it and, and, uh, and spoil everything, but you get to see the outcome of what happens to Superman here. And when you find that out, you're like, oh my God. But you find out that Adam is the traitor, which you kind of knew, but she is much more evil than you ever anticipated her to be. And she tells everybody... What has happened? So why does she tell them? Because she feels that they have the upper hand now. And you find out what happens to Superman here. And then you find out the biggest twist of them all that you've never seen coming. And you get to see what happens to Cyborg. That's right. Now, big spoiler here. So if you don't want to see this part, fast forward it. Bam, right here. The freaking... God dang cyborg armor is being hacked into and it has a virus and it's on its own now. And you're like, oh my God, that is freaking seriously crazy. And it's called Grid. And it's like, Grid Online. And you're like, oh, and poor Victor's line, your help was just like, please no. And you're just like, oh my God. And the man in the top hat sits there and has the box. And it's like just one of many boxes. There's a mother box. But he winds up opening up this box. And you see the box and you see everything going on. And everyone's like, oh. And everyone's just like, what's happening? And Batman's in the background. He's like, oh, my God, he's opening the box. And uh, we find out that the first person you see that makes the jump through the other world from Earth 3 is Aquaman. And you're like, dude, <laughs> Is this the Aquaman from the 90s? Because he's got his freaking little claw and he's got the long hair and the beard and everything. But the cool thing is, is the guy doesn't make it through. He's just like sitting there, drops dead. And you're like, well, it sucks to be that guy. And then you see all our other characters are coming through. 
and uh, Xanadu is just like, Earth 3? And so as towards the end of the issue, you get to see everyone that makes the jump. And he goes, we have survived. And you get to see everybody here. Again, great artwork. It, it was just spectacular to see this. Um, it, I guess you get to see it, which is called the Crime Syndicate. And you get to see Ultraman and Owlman. And uh, you get to see, well, it's, it's, is it Supergirl from this time or whatever it is? Or Superwoman? Uh, great stuff here. And you get to see Adam Adam's involvement with them. Her name is Atomica. And I was just like, oh, my God, that is freaking crazy. And then you find out the guy in the top hat, he's Alfred from Earth 3. And he goes, this world now belongs to the crime syndicate, which we knew who it was going to be at the end. It's just the journey there, how they got there. And the way they did it was fantastic. I truly enjoyed this issue. Again, for me, it was the journey that got me there. And I'm sitting there in awe by the end of it all. I love the twist on how Cyborg got, or Victor got separated from his armor. I thought that was brilliant. Who would think that you would hack in to Cyborg to separate him from his flesh? That was amazing. And the whole Superman thing? Dude, they better figure out what to do with Superman because he is useless right now. But it was brilliantly done too. And you find out the whole thing with Dr. Light and everything like that. But this was a fantastic issue. I felt that there was nothing wrong. Even though I knew that the crime syndicate was coming, it was still a spectacular read and I was in awe at the whole time. How this thing turns out and how Forever Evil Month turns out is still yet to be determined. But this is like a bridge into the next uh, you know, main event, which is obviously Forever Evil. So I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. So guys, tell me what you thought of this issue. And... Uh, do you think this is one of the best events that you've read this year? Give me your thoughts. Compare this to other events in the past. And do you think Forever Evil might actually be better than this? So guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And guys, I'll see you in the next comic book review. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.